Mainly we talk to a lot of experts, even from other dis disciplines, or architecture for example, um, traffic planners and so on, to, to people who work on strategies for cities and so on. And, and out of these uh, expertise we produce scenarios for the, for the future, optimistic ones, pessimistic ones and describe how future mobility will look like. And if you ask how will that be, uh, we have several large trends at the moment and uh, if they all work together we will have main changes, some call it disruptive changes in mobility in the, in the future. What means first of all is we will be driving autonomously in the, in the future. Uh, that will be a very, very important enabler for car sharing, for example, if you imagine the car will come by its own and will uh, to, to the one who will use it and it, you can drive where you want, you don't have to look for a parking space or something like that. So, and, and then we will drive uh, with an electric drivetrain because that's important for cities and their city goals for the future. They, the main city goal in, in Europe and in, in the US, uh, even in, in, in China, uh, will be to, to do the, the most important steps for the quality of life of the inhabitants of these cities. And if all these trends come together, you really have major changes, not in, in small steps, but really in large steps in the future. You know, what has driven us and the team, many, many people um, with a lot of enthusiasm working on that issue was first of all to create a car which is always in move because we think car sharing will bring to the city that it's much more efficient. The cars will be all the time in move. and so. What you see here, this car, we don't have a decision to develop exactly that car, but I think many ideas we brought in, we implemented, will be seen in future urban city cars, will be seen in future smart. This car we thought should have is first of all full autonomous driving level five, so no pedals, no steering wheel anymore. Um, secondly, it's a very, very um, radically a car sharing car, always in move. Uh, so this car know what, where you are. Uh, is, um, we integrated swarm intelligence with algorithm um, and, in, in, and artificial intelligence. So the car always knows where a concert comes to the end, where a shift comes to the end and will be there, will be present. So you don't have to look for it. One car of this car sharing fleet will be present where, wherever you need it. Um, number three, it's of course car sharing means it has to be personalized. So you are entering, it will show your color, it will have your entertainment. Uh, it will also propose you someone who, to share with you the drive uh, and the, it will know what you like, what your favorite music is and the, your passenger favorite music is and will propose the right music for both of you or even silence because it knows you don't like stress in the car. It will be a fantastic communicator. Um, so, of course, you will be perfectly connected with the screens uh, to, the, to all the environment, to all your community. You even can use this, the next step we are thinking uh, of um, is to really use uh, the doors, will look like already uh, like a screen, to use it as a screen so you can communicate, you can bring sun into the city, you can bring nice messages, interesting information, all these I think are it's very interesting. It will be your personal butler. It can bring your kids to school. It can bring your journal, your, your everything you need from the shop, uh, from the different shops to you. Um, so a lot of assistance in your daily life. Again, that idea, quality of life in, in the cities. It's of course compact and Last but not least, um, it's fully electric because we really, with the uh, new, um, the car knows when it has to be charged, it will autonomously drive to the next charging possibility. It will even be uh, energy storage for, for, for houses, for other cars, so giving back something also to the city again. Uh, all these are many, uh, some of the, the, the most important ideas um, on, on what, what the team developed and we think many of them really will become real reality. 
I think uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, with this entertainment, with this surprising uh, personalization where you don't, wh wh what can that car knows everything like that. It will, of course, uh, this communication, what is so important to be really connected with your community. All this is fun. But I think smart always was also about value. Uh, and creating value is also fun. It's also creating joy joy of life um, and I think that many people and if I speak today to whenever I speak to the younger generation they're saying I want also I have a good feeling when I can give something back to the city and that's why we brought in and integrated so many features with uh, for instance this um, energy storage for, for, for other cars or even houses or with uh, um, bringing light and sun and nice colors into the city all these are possibilities also to feel I can contribute to a better world and isn't that fun also?